I'm, I'm with you there. Um, it, it's interesting uh, what, what the landscape and what's happened today. You know, uh, Clemson. You know, I, I still I'm still thinking Clemson to win the ACC, of course. Man, um, and they they can do that, and I don't know what's going to happen. You know, for one loss Clemson team, especially after this kind of loss, and I guess that would play out itself. I would assume they'll probably drop from. They'll probably switch. Honestly, they'll probably flip. If I was a committee, they'd probably flip Clemson and TCU. Probably drop Clemson to six. To six after getting blown out like that at home. It's still one. Okay, I mean that's still we're gonna put them at seven. I mean, this. I, I mean, I think they're gonna. They still got one loss. I mean, they they were throttled by a Notre Dame team. That, that was I, what twenty eight zero at one I, point. I, no, I, I think I think they're falling way further than than just three spots. Still? Yeah. Okay. Well, and, and think about it too, because no, they're not done, but they're they're not going to be. Uh, I I don't foresee them being six. Mm. Like, I, I don't think that's happening at all. Hmm. You know, uh, Tennessee. Tennessee will probably. Tennessee will probably drop. You know, they'll probably drop the five. I mean, Mich- I think one thing is clear: Michigan definitely should be in the top four. Um, the hot look. Ohio State struggled today, um, but they're not going to get off the top four. They're going to probably put Ohio State to one. Um, you know, Michigan, you know, would be probably three, four, three. I was texting with uh, Corey, and, and, and he made a good point. He, I mean, I, I would think Michigan has a good shot at being ranked number two on Tuesday. See, I mean, I could, I could see that. I just, that's a lot. That's a big jump. You're talking about jumping for, you know, what, three spots? You know, that's a pretty big jump. Yeah, but a lot of teams in front of you lost. It's not like, you know, you're yeah, just jumping it. them just to jump them. Like, those, those teams lost. Yeah. No, I mean, look, I'm, not, I'm, darn, I, I, I'm definitely not campaigning for it. it, it it's just, you know, I, I, I don't know. Then, then, would you, do you keep Ohio State at two? Or, or are you going to drop them to three? You know, I, I mean, would. I, I mean, that, you struggled mightily with a bat, with the worst team in the in the Big Ten. Yeah. yeah I mean, well, if, if, if Georgia – you know, struggles with beats Vandy twenty one to seven. I mean, people are gonna have something to say about that. Like so, Northwestern is really bad this year. Yeah, so what you do. I mean, and we got we'll get into the game, guys, trust me. We we started there, but then we got down the rabbit hole after the Alabama loss. But um just real quick before we get back into the game. So let's just say we'll do what Georgia one, let's say Michigan two, OSU three and what T C U four. Yeah. I mean that's mm. what that's probably what I would do now mm. as far as the committee you just never know, mm. um, but yeah that's that's probably what I would do. Mm. Okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah, well, hey, um, and and just wow, Texas Christian University in the playoff <laughs> discussion that that is incredible. You know, it's it's funny like like you, you would have thought with you know Jimbo Fisher being at Texas A and M and Chuck and being at Texas and you know, it, it, who would have thought TCU would be like <laughs> would be the first Texas team to like <laughs> to get yeah, in potentially? Yeah, yeah. it's like it's it's so inter- interesting to really think about it. You know, just, just why it's so <laughs> under the radar. You mm-hmm. know, and it's just like man, it, it'll be just incredible. Uh, you know, I mean, heck, I mean, at this rate, A and M may not even make a bowl game, but I, I know you're right. Yeah, um, but anyway, I think the uh, get, they win today, today, but. Um, but Bryce Young is, is QB. We 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 don't need to talk about anything. No, he's QB one. As he's far as QB one, like he, I I went on a little Twitter rant today, and I'm like, it's just ridiculous to number one talk about Will Levis. Like this, <laughs> please, can we please stop that? Like, I, and then also too because the thing, is, my thing is, I went down a a list of situations, high leverage situations where Bryce Young was fantastic and it was basically sec championship game last year uh the iron bowl last year right the 99 yard drive um this year the texas game that that last drive just where he is is just winning the game on his own and so that was i think three games i mentioned and and my essentially premise was give me the cj stroud equivalent of of these things where C.J. Stroud was fantastic in high leverage situations, gotta have it, and you know what I mean it comes through. Like that's that's the the thing that just drives me nuts. But 
Anywho. I mean, you know, real, real quick, and before we go back to the game, I, I, and to, to just hit, hit on that, you know, I, I think the thing will be with him, the thing about him is, you know, it, it's a distinction between, okay, is the results more based on him and his abilities, or is it a pro- byproduct of the abilities of the receivers he plays with? Right, and I'm sure the truth is closer towards the middle, uh, but you I know, don't. Like, if, I mean, from watching this fair, team, our receivers have been playing god awful all year. No, 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 no. I, I was talking about for CJ, for CJ. Stroud. Oh, I get you, I get you. Yeah, yeah okay. CJ Stroud. You know, no, it's clear as they know. Sure. No, no, Bryce is the magical elixir. He, he, he's a wizard. So mm-hmm. no, I'm with you, man. 